Good morning. Hopefully you will be able to join me online, whether it be uh, now at just gone 10 o'clock because I'm running late, or whether it be later in the day or at another time. It's good to gather together in worship. Sorry I'm a bit late, I've been having a technology fiddling session, um, trying to improve things a little bit. Um, size of script and text and that sort of thing on the main machine up here in the office, having been fighting with a, a laptop hard drive yesterday. So, if you can hear strange noises off, it'll probably be a slight whistling noise. Um, I've got the Swift caller going by our Swift box, which is, as far as I'm aware, as yet um, unused, except possibly by the sparrows. Um, and um, it makes strange noises, basically, like swift noises. Anyway, excellent. Good morning, Mandy and Colin and Nick and Barbara. Brilliant. It's good to know that we are gathered together. Uh, this morning I shall be using common worship uh, with Psalm 30. Um, this morning. Oh, morning Chris. Lovely to have you with us. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just go through that. I'm not going to, f I don't know what Leris has been doing because I've been so busy I haven't um, had a chance. I'm not going to be following the um, readings for Generous June. But if you want to go off and find the readings for Generous June, they are very easily accessible online. And this morning, um, uh, the reflection is by a friend of mine, Sheena Williams. Um, so there's a little five minute podcast um, for each day in Generous June. Morning, Brenda. Morning, Janice. Um, Janice, one day we will actually meet. Morning, Joy. Brilliant. Okay. Let's take a moment of two or two of quiet and focus our attention on God's presence with us. Just as we know, God is focus focusing his presence on us. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Lord God, we pray as we start this week that we will know your presence with us, that as we worship but also as we go about our daily lives, we will know your presence with us and we will hold before you those who are carrying all sorts of burdens that might stop them from knowing your companionship. We pray, Lord, that you will make us worthy of our calling as your servants. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And it would be good to start the week with an awareness of um, what God has done for us, but also our um, ability to get things wrong and our need to trust in his grace and his mercy. So we'll use this um, piece of Psalm 103 that is in common worship. 
The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old and endures for ever on those who fear him and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Prayer in common worship that goes with that psalm says this Lord you hide your face when we trust in ourselves strip us of false security and reclothe us in your presence that we may know you as the one who raises us from death as you raised your son our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. If we uh, think about Generous June, um, this um, month that we're having across this diocese and the Diocese of Sheffield, focusing 
on our generosity of heart and spirit in very um, practical ways as well as in spiritual ways. My eye is drawn to verse 6 of this psalm. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. When life, <coughs> when life's going well, um, perhaps we've got enough money in the bank to do what we want to do. Um, it might not be a lot, but it might be enough. Um, when, yeah, our relationships and so forth are going going smoothly it's very easy um, to huddle ourselves away on our hill metaphorically um, because quite often we protect ourselves don't we um, from external forces and stresses from being generous in heart and spirit um, by by retreating into our safe space and there is um, there are really valid reasons for doing that and that can be really important but it can also become a little bit of a crutch um, we as that prayer said we end up doing things in our own strength um, forgetting um, what it is that has brought us our um, metaphorical, if not financial, prosperity. Um, and we forget the, the love and the grace that we have received to enable us to uh, live in, um, if you like, spiritual safety. But we build walls around us, don't we? that um, shut out people um, as I know I um, have done recently and um, then we suddenly realise hopefully in a light bulb moment how poor um, we are making ourselves and our poverty is in our relationship with God because we have that relationship through um, other people. Yes, we can pray, we can spend time together, we can worship. Um, some of that can be done all on our own. But actually, um, it, it's, it's best done with other people. Our lives are best lived with others. And actually God wants us to uh, be out there dancing uh, to his tune. Um, I think many of us are probably a bit beyond actual dancing, but um, yeah, dancing in our spirits. And actually, if we think about what some of us would have heard yesterday, um, at St Barnabas when Kate spoke to us that idea of um, praising God, shouting hallelujah um, like uh, John and Judy do and uh, we need we need that um, lightness of spirit, that joy in our heart, that spiritual joy that is the knowledge of God's presence with us and we need to take that out to others um, especially now we can we don't have to do it on a telephone um, so that's my rambling thoughts for this morning um, as much a challenge to myself this week as uh, to anything else um, but if it helps you too it's all well and good Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust
trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And so we will turn to a time of prayer. If there's anything specifically that you want prayer for, um, do you feel you can pop it up on um, the chat bit? We will just take some time out to focus on different areas of the world and different areas of life around us as well as the needs of those who turn to us to pray for them in their struggles. Lord, we thank you for the riches of your grace. all that you have given us. We pray, Lord, that we might not build that wall around us that stops us sharing in the joy of knowing ye, of Having you as our guide, our confident, our confidant. Help us to be at peace enough with ourselves that we might share that peace with others. The risen Christ came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. I think it goes on to say, and their hearts were filled with joy words to that effect. Lord, help us to know your peace, your purpose and your power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, Lord, for our world, for those places where prosperity and joy and peace are in very short supply, where there is injustice and hatred. where people are held against their will for no good reason. Confined to barracks, as it were. We ask you, Lord, to bring freedom, hope, and happiness to 
So those who struggle in the most difficult countries and communities to live in, protect them, Lord, from harm. Encourage and empower them. And from the safety of our own homes and communities, may we humble ourselves by holding holding their needs in our hearts we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ who sacrificed his life for all Amen Pray, Lord, for our communities, our communities of faith, communities in which we live. Help us to come together with fellow Christians to serve your people. to meet the needs of those who find it difficult to perhaps put food on the table, to support their youngsters at school. to pay their mortgage, pray for those who feel aimless and at a loose end, not feeling as though they have a, a hope and a purpose, perhaps because of unemployment or come to the end of their time at school and really don't know what it is that they want to do with their lives. Encourage them, Lord. Help them to find something that they can offer, that they can do. Perhaps even if it's, it's not paid, just find something that helps them to know how valued they are by you and by the community in which they live. And we pray for those known to us who because of illness or bereavement, because of a family crisis, are in mental or physical pain, worried about diagnoses and treatments, getting used to new medicines and side effects. Comfort and heal them, Lord. Make known to them your loving presence. We 
particularly name before you at this time. Chris and Pete, Jed, Sylvia, Adrian and Sean, Joan and John, Barbara Ann, Patricia, Molly and Samantha, young Ruby, Jeremy, Daniel and Lawrence, Brian and Beryl, Ellen, Margaret and Norman and Julie. us be the hands the mouths the feet the fellowship that helps those in need in the name and through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us say together the Lord's Prayer in the traditional version. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's been good to gather live again this week, uh, this morning. I'm, I'm uh, grateful for you for putting up with the, the recorded things that um, I put up last week as um, I dashed around at various um, family tasks while Graham was on half term. Um, do pray for our uh, friends in schools as they push through to the end of this um, last half term in the year. Um, I'm very aware through uh, my governor hat as well as my wifely hat um, that uh, I think they're in common with many in such professions. They uh, are at the end of their strength, let's put it like that at the moment. Go well. God bless everyone.